morning, you joined me with the AMG GTR again. If you saw the last video, it was all about this. with Rana who as you know his Instagram will be down below and his YouTube channel he's just started YouTube I'm also Donze is here his Instagram will be down below as well and we got an AMG crew we got the AMG GTR GLS 63 AMG and the Chrome uh, C63 AMG over there and later on we're gonna be joining the king of all AMGs but we just we weren't planning on making this vlog we figured you know what let's just vlog and see how it goes we're gonna finish filming the GTR video and see where the rest of the day takes us we are now in the back of the GLS 63 AMG heading over to Lamborghini we are actually spontaneously cutting off the AMG um, sort of theme of this video because Rana just got a call saying that we can go pick up his AMG uh, not AMG, Aventador S from the dealer here in Monton. So I'm with Ali, I'm with Ricardo, I'm with you. Ayo, cue the meme. And we're about to go see the uh, Aventador S and take it back into Monaco. I'm super excited, I've never experienced it before. So I can't wait to, to go in it and actually hear this car because I've heard it sounds absolutely unbelievable. Beautiful yellow color and just overall, this is gonna be very cool. We've made it to the Lambo dealer then, we've come to pick up the Aventador S, Rana had left for a couple of days so he's come back to pick it up. I've got the key, Aventador S, there's not many out there, not much experience with this car at all, but it's absolutely gorgeous, it's still got the seat protectors on it, it's so new. But we're gonna hop in, start it up, uh, this is such like spaceship kind of interior, you've got the full screen in front of you, here we go. Oh, that sounds good. Then if we put it into sport, it should open the valves, and it hasn't. It's not opening the valves. So if you check this out right here, I don't know if you can see it, that is where you can see the difference between, so we're in strata mode, sport mode, slightly sportier dash, but then in Corsa mode, it goes like the SV, or kind of like a P1 style dashboard. It's absolutely gorgeous. This particular car has the center of the seat all in Alcantara, with the diamond contrast yellow stitching, which is very cool to see. Alcantara headlining with a yellow stripe. Oh, Aventadors just have something special about them, don't they? Absolutely stunning car. I can't wait to give this a go. This car also has a bunch of carbon. Carbon fiber on the center console, and even here in the wheel latch, you've got carbon fiber, and then the Aventador logo here lights up, which is brand new on the Aventador S. Also finished in carbon fiber, which continues on to the door panels right here. Carbon with the full 
uh, what's it called? Sen, 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 whoa, I'm struggling. That's loud. <laughs> it's very loud. Senzonum sound system. Anyone heard of it? No, nope. I haven't. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the dream. Here we go. Back to Monaco. So the valves only open without the sports upgrade. They open at 3,000 RPM. So. Oh, the cracks. Oh, oh, it's so cool. It's completely different. Well, same tone and same sort of sound. By the way, I hope I'm in focus because I can't see what I'm filming. The screen isn't back at me, but I hope I'm in focus. But they've added so much sort of hurricane-ish hurricane -ish sound to this car with cracks and pops all over the place. So it makes a lot more sort of crackles like that, like the deep Aventador cracks. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. It's also got four wheel steering now. Which means that ah, oh, it's so much more practical around town, so much more usable. This one has the comfortable seat, so compared to the SV, which Rana also has, it's way more comfortable. I apologize for the shakiness as well, because despite it being more comfortable than the SV, it's still a sports car and it's still got hard suspension. Those cracks are crazy. Oh my god, they're like explosions. First stop, we need some petrol. Well, the car's being filled up as we speak. Look at this interior. Now, one problem with the Aventador is there's not much storage room. There in the SV is a little cubby here, but no glove box. In this car, I mean, there's barely even a glove box. It's absolutely tiny in there. And then back here, there's a little compartment which you can put some stuff in, but again, it's not very deep, is it? Uh, there is a little bit of a net back there carbon fiber back seats I don't know if you can see that properly don't know how to put the lighting up on this camera carbon fiber up here as well yeah just a pretty special place to be tiny little exit here to the well we're out of it now but that was a tiny exit from the petrol station which proves that the four-wheel steering on the Aventador works we hit the motorway Hopefully there will be some tunnels. Here's a tunnel now. Oh, that noise! That is mad! This car sounds incredible. No bad thing. Oh. It just cracks. Like, literally, imagine the hurricane and how that cracks and apply that to the Aventador. No car really has the presence and the drama of the Aventador. And you know that emotion is so important to me in a car. And to have a car that's like this, that's so sort of wacky and out there, and that now much more usable and we could still do with a double clutch gearbox I can imagine. I mean, I've never driven an Aventador S but I drove the previous gen Aventador and that could really do with a double clutch gearbox but it feels much more complete even just from the passenger seat than it used to so yeah what an experience and uh, I'm gonna have to tell you if you can go you're good you can go yeah it's awesome it's awesome and I can imagine Rana is uh, super excited to be back in this car because it is an absolute beast as i've said if you want to see more content of this and the others check out his youtube channel down below very cool also having the gls 63 amg in front of us right there
which is such a beast in its own right. I mean, close to 600 horsepower, but you can carry seven people and have two TVs in it. That thing is an absolute beast and the best sort of, I guess, crew car for us. <laughs> In Monaco, we finished what an incredible day. We picked the Aventador up. We were in the GLS C60, uh, GLS C63 that doesn't oh, exist, GLS just GLS 63 AMG. It's been fantastic. Thank you for watching, as per usual. If you want to see another video, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Please remember to subscribe. See you soon. Ali, come say bye with me. Three, two, one, a bye bye. Hey, Quick cap saying, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Juliet.